Now let's uh, talk about the solvent die kit and what it can do. Uh, first, you in the kit, you have a booklet, uh, you have the thinner, you have two different kinds of sealer, uh, being Permalac, and you have our new uh, 1K uh, Smart Coat, and then we have 10 different colors. Uh, so basically, with, with what we, you have here in the kit, you can do pretty much anything you want to do in relationship to duplicating a patina or going over a patina. Say on this bronze here, I didn't like the color, I can go back over with the dyes because they're transparent, they'll just slightly tint uh, the bronze and therefore changing the color just slightly. Or you can change it a lot. Or you can do what we've done on these uh, pieces of steel here, uh, the cast iron or the uh, piece of steel. Uh, the dyes will pretty much work on anything. Like I said, a lot of people use them on wood. Uh, again, we have tin and we have the cap here and we also have a drip spout that you can put on. This is real nice for controlling the amount of color you want to put, let's say, into lacquer or even if you wanted to put it onto a sponge um, or a little brush, you can just get one little drip uh, rather than just uh, opening the container here and, and you have a lot of volume coming out, which you really don't want. Um, again, it's I've said in the first of the video on uh, these two that I did here um, that I used to use it. I developed it for uh, using on ancient pieces uh, restoration where you can restore something. I've done glass, I've done wood, I've done metals. Uh, so the dies are really handy for pretty much anything. They're like a, kind of a last resort. If the patina is not working the way you want it, uh, you can put the dies over the top and really change the color. I do it sometimes when I'm doing a hot patina on bronze let's say a ferric nitrate which is kind of a gold and I want to make the gold a little more intense I'll use the yellow dye uh, in the lacquer or just by itself uh, and I can tint it, change slightly change the color blacks you can do the same thing if you wanted to intensify a black or a brown um, or if you wanted to have deeper greens in your piece and you've got a uh, cupric nitrate patina on it uh, you can intensify it with the greens so it, it's a very versatile kit